This is Dabu7 reporting on another executive order that Donald Trump has just signed here at 11 a.m. Eastern Time in the United States. This is an executive order that follows up the first one he put out in regards to Obamacare, then three more yesterday that I covered in a separate video, and now with this executive order or multiple executive orders, however they end up coming out here, he is ordering the advance of the Keystone and Dakota Access Pipeline. Now, these are both pipelines that have already seen protests, that have already seen uh, actions against them, and for different reasons. Now, and when it comes to the Dakota Access Pipeline, we've seen the situation at Standing Rock. I mean, for crying out loud, Revolutionary Z, our journalist on the front line, just damn near had a finger blown off up there, had to have reconstructive surgery, shot up in the leg, and all this, they targeted him. Uh, he wasn't up there protesting, he was up there being a journalist, eyes and ears, and they targeted him. Okay, the, the mainstream lies to you constantly. I mean, do I even have to say it? Okay, so they're not showing you what's really happening up there on the front lines. Well, Real journalists are up there getting the real images out. They don't like that. And they've targeted them. And these have been heated areas. Now, it's in my opinion, there should be a different bit of a, a whole different system here in this country. But when it comes down to the pipelines and things like this, I think the people should have a say. And I think that, uh, hell, monthly, across the board, big things like this should come up where people should be able to go out and cast a righteous vote on what to do with these situations. And really, there should never be a company that comes along and just says, well, we're going to run it right through here, and we don't care what no one says, we're doing it. I mean, that's ridiculous. That You have to take people into consideration here. The houses, their farms, their animals, the environment. And like with Standing Rock, these are people fighting for their water source. Okay, if they truly wanted to avoid all the confrontation and everything else, why could they simply not have thought ahead and engineered and rerouted this a different way? Around and away from all of that. But they didn't. Still is an option, but will they seek it is the thing. Will they seek peaceful resolutions or will these become hotbeds for major protest action? That's yet to be seen, but I'm like I said before, Keystone's been protested across the country before. You've seen what's going on with Standing Rock, but these are different, two total different pipelines going through two different areas that need different approvals, permits, and things of that nature. And once again, it's in my opinion that I believe there should be a way of, I know when I say this, people are going to say, well, the voting period should be righteous and go on and on and on about rigged elections. We know it. But I'm saying just a righteous system, if there could be one, where once a month issues like this come up across the board in the United States and you have a right as a citizen to go in and cast your vote on what you think should happen um, with the pipeline, uh, where it should go. Should they reroute it? Well, it's going to cost them $20 million more. So what? Reroute it. Do what you have to do to make it right. And, and it's in my opinion, this planet, a long time ago, was running on free energy. And what they're doing now is a big scheme through fiat currency, using the oil system, and keeping you a damn debt slave. That's the truth. So, in regards to these executive orders, this is one of the latest from Trump that he's just signed and put into motion here in regards to the Keystone and Dakota Access Pipelines. Now, I will leave links. I will continue to update with more information as I come across it. And remember, if you're going over to whitehouse.gov and you're looking for these executive orders that it took till yesterday for them to get the first one posted, and uh, I'm not sure how quick they're going to be about getting all this info up, but Make sure you're following me on Twitter for the latest updates as well. Until next time, this has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.